Hey, welcome to all of you. In this video, we are about to discuss the research types based upon significant parameters, which we will go ahead with step by step and algorithmic flow. Coming to the next first point, this is regarding the research type, which is based upon the research purpose means here we should give why we are doing this work, its need, its significance, its importance with respect to contemporary applications and with respect to current trends in the technologies. When we go ahead with this one, once again, there are two types of researchers, basic research and applied research. When we come towards basic research, this research typically aim to explore new frontiers of knowledge. And most of the times, this basic research is born out of the curiosity of the researcher to investigate new things, novel algorithms, novel applications, and sophisticated methods. Next, moving towards applied research, the main aim is to solve the real world problem statements by utilizing the available knowledge and to a particular context or situation. There, this applied research comes into use. When we move towards the second type of research, which is based upon depth, depth of scope. Here, we have to look for how much we can go deeper into the work. While we go into the this type of research, we have three types of researchers. Very first one, exploratory. In exploratory, the main aim of this research is to look into the insights and know about them and also to develop a better perception of a particular research scope or topic. When we move towards descriptive type of research, here the main goal is to create or provide a detailed description of the research work of which we are very much interested in. Now moving towards explanatory research. Here, the goal of the explanatory research is to detect and identify the main concept known as cause and effect relationship between various variables which are involved in the algorithm. The third one, type of research is based upon the type of data we are going to use. Here it means data can be database or data set. And some most of the times it may be two types of data. These data may be real data sets, means live data sets, which we take from the real day-to-day -day applications or databases, which are already available as some standard formats based upon the corresponding applications. In the type of data, once again, we go along with two type of researchers. Very first one is qualitative, and the second one is quantitative research. In the qualitative research, it is mainly used to look into the main highlights of the work and to conceptualize the theory aspects of the particular research. Here, we go along with the gaining knowledge into insights and creation of the theory-based works. When it comes to quantitative word in the research, it is mainly used with respect to the training and testing of the theories which have been already discussed and to do the estimations of the concerned theories that have been already reported in the literature. 
estimations means these are like predictions of how the output may be, what are the inputs we are going to take, what might be the expected outputs, like that when you go along with the research work, that type of research work is called as quantitative type of research. The fourth one in type of research is type of inference, how we go in a path. The very first one here is directive type of research. The main goal of directive type of research is to test a hypothesis and to provide a productive conclusion which helps us to use those theories in near future also and they can be expanded towards various applications. This is we call as deductive type of research. When we go towards inductive type of research, this research main goal is to develop a theory and draw a fine conclusion of the work. In the previous directive, we are saying testing. Here in the inductive, we are saying develop a theory. There is a small difference between directive and inductive. In directive, we go for testing a hypothesis, but here in inductive, we go for developing a hypothesis and drawing a conclusion. This is the smallest difference between directive and inductive type of reference research works. The last but not the least, the type of research based on source of information, which type of data that has been collected. Very first, the primary research. Here, the data which has been collected is going to be very original in the primary research and it will be very specific to a research questions that have been provided in the beginning of the research work. Means it is purely depending upon the primary works the original and also it mainly deals with the certain means specific research question. When coming towards secondary research, here in this one, the data is used in secondary research is going to be obtained from various sources which are already established, such as journals, articles, books, some databases, reports, which have been given by the third party evaluations, or even the government reports that have been established with respect to different orders in the even in the websites also. This is called as secondary type of research. These are the main five types of researchers which we are going to look into types of research. One is research purpose, next one depth of scope, third one is type of the data, fourth one type of inference, and fifth one source of information. In this video, I have highlighted regarding the types of research, mainly most of the people are a bit confused with respect to which type of research they want to go towards. If they want to go towards very novel things and in a simplest way, they can go towards the basic research. If not, we have to inculcate all the things we can go towards the depth. Otherwise, if in respect to data, we can go this qualitative or quantitative. And if the work is with respect to hypothesis, we can go to type of inference research. Or if with respect to databases which have been collected, either primarily, which is original, and secondarily, which is already established, then we can go to the type of research known as source of information. This is how one can differentiate between types of researchers and can understand which type of research he or she are doing in their works. I hope this video has helped you to regain or to look into the to, to gain the insights into types of research. And if any suggestions are there, kindly put us in the comment box and provide us your valuable suggestions and kindly share, like, and subscribe our channel 
and support our channel to give more videos of your research interest as well as academic interests. Thank you.